Hello? Hey, Mr. Porter, how you doing? Hey, Mr. Cherry, what's going on, Febo? Okay, nothing much, man. Just relaxing, you know, taking it one day at a time. All right, that's what's up, man. I appreciate you, you know, giving me this call, man. Cherry yeah, Bob yeah, in the building. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Edna Cherry, what's going on, man? I yeah, see. nothing much. Talk to me, bro. I've been following your career for, you know, for a while now, man. So, yes, talk to me, yeah, man. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. You know, just getting ready for this fight March 2nd, you know. Mm -hmm. Just getting prepared, man, you know, putting the hard work in. Okay. Like now always. You, now you're fighting on the undercard of um, Erevondi Lara's card, right? Yeah, yes, sir. And you are fighting at, one, what, what 135? No, uh, 130. 100, oh, super featherweight. Yeah. yeah Damn, yeah. man. How do you continuously make that weight, man? Man, I don't even know, man. <laughs> I don't even know. I just, discipline, I think, you know what I'm saying? Discipline, hard work, and, you know, just try to, you know, stay healthy, yeah. you know? Okay. Now, who you fighting? You don't um, I'm, fighting with, <laughs> I'm, I'm fighting Ricardo Nunez. Okay. Ricardo Nunez. What are, you, what are your thoughts on this guy? Man, you know what? I don't know anything about him. I haven't seen no videos, but for some reason, he don't have no video online or anything. But, um, but uh, you know, just checking out his record, you know, he's a pretty good fighter. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, uh, March March 2nd, I'm in a tough fight, man, you know? Yeah. I'm in a tough fight. Uh, you know, he's young. Uh, you know, he have a record of 20, 22 with 18 KO. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know... You know, he's looking at, you know, coming in, you know, well, to uh, prove something, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, you know, uh, I've been here before, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I've been in tough fights, and oh, yeah, I've been in yeah. great fights. Yeah. And, you know, uh, this is this is nothing new for me, man. And, you know, um, you know, do you know what I said? You know what I said? Looking, looking at his record, you know, he never won 12 rounds. He never won 10 rounds. Well, he only went ten round once, but it like it only went once. Like he, he knocked down in the first round, but you know, but I but I can't but I can't look at that. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I can't I can't look at that. But I'm um, prepared for a tough fight for twelve for twelve tough round fight uh, March second for the right. for the um, for the eliminator for the WBA title for the WBA title. Who's yes, currently sir, but, uh, who's currently in possession of Javante Tank Davis? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Now your record is thirty seven and thirty seven with seven um losses, two draws, yeah, yes, sir. Um, nineteen yes, KOs. Sir. You've been in with yep. some, you know, top top opponents. You're thirty six yes. years old, correct? Yes, sir. And everybody knows you as the Cherry Ball because you, oh, you, yeah. know, <laughs> you know, what yes, I mean. Sir. You you have that 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 one hit of quitter power, you know what I mean? Yeah, one yeah one hit of quitter. If it land right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It will it will you know what I'm saying? It will make you make the shakes or whatever, you know what mm. whatever happens and whatever, but like whatever it, it, like it'll make you do. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you on that, you know. Yeah. Now you you faced a lot of like I said early, you know you faced a lot of um some some world champions. You faced Paul Malinaji. Yes, um, you you faced Timothy Bradley, went to distance with both of the guys. What were your thoughts yeah, on, yes, on fighting both of them? Man, you know, well, I learned uh, I learned from them guys, man. Uh, you know, moving up in weight, fighting these guys, and you know, I learned a whole lot. And, when you, you say know, moving up in weight, what do you mean by that? I had I had moved up in weight to fight these guys. Though gotcha. I was just, at one time I was at, I was at one I was one uh, I was fighting at one thirty five, so I had to move up to one forty. Mm -hmm. So uh, you had so you had to look at these guys was was struggling and you know coming down just to make one forty. Mm -hmm. You know, and but you know I learned, I learned a whole lot, man. It, but it, it was a pleasure, it was an honor to be with these guys in the ring, yeah. fighting in the ring with them. Mm -hmm. You also fought um, Jose Pedraza, the yeah, yes, you know, sir. two-time <laughs> world champion. You had a pretty good yeah. fight with that guy. Yeah. How was that? You know, it was you know it was a good fight. Uh, but you know, being honest, I I thought I thought I won that fight. Mm -hmm. I thought I won that fight, and um, but you know, the world the world see, 
And, you know, of, you know, well, from that fight, did I, did I let myself down? Did I, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I, you know what I'm saying? I kept my head up. You know, I went back to the, I mean, I didn't let that stuff take, you know what I'm saying? Take, you know, just got, you know, you know, to get in my way, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. he just, like, he just made me go to the gym and just work and, you know, waiting for another opportunity. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the world see it and, you know, they know. And, and, you know, that's why they call it a split decision. It wasn't no unanimous or whatever. They call it split. And they, they knew, man. And, you know, <laughs> but, but right now I'm supposed to be the, you know, the uncrowned champion, this and that. But, yeah. you know, but it is, it is, it is what it is. But this is boxing, man. I got you. You know, I think that people got robbed and, you know, they supposed to win. And, you know, but, you know, like stuff like that. Like some fighters that I seen that got robbed like that, they never be they they never the same anymore. And mm-hmm. they either either they left boxing and or they, when they came back they're not the same no more or they hurt. And you know because what you have to look at they they've been working for they've been working for this all their life. And then when that night came and they won, and they take it away, and it's like, man, it seems like they lost it all, you know? Mm, take the soul out of yourself. Take the soul yeah. out of your body. Yeah, yes, sir, but, you know, for me, it just made me become stronger. It's just like, hey, go back in the gym and work, and, you know? That was going to be the next question. Like, how do you, you know, you yourself, how do you find the, the strength, the understanding, the focus, the determination to say, you know what, I lost this fight, but I... On the judges' cards, not your personal, you know, view, but you lost a fight and it was taken away from you. How do you find that passion that, 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 you know, like, I gotta get back in there and go forward? How do you find, where does that come from? Man, you know, you know, being honest, man, you know, you know, doing all, you know, all these years I've been doing this boxing and, you know, really what keeps me going when I wake up every morning and when I see four of my kids, mm. Then, you know, I see my wife, you know, that's, that's why, that's, that's why I'm still here, man. That's why I'm still grinding to my kids, my family, my household. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because, because, um, when it, like, when it, like, when it's said and done, I want, I want to give them something. I want to take care of them and, you know, either, either when it's said and done, get them a nice home or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you know, um, you know, at least, at least bring a world title to the house and, you know, the way they, they were, you know, every time they wake up, like, oh man, my dad got a world title and he got a belt. This mm-hmm. and that. So something that they could brag on. And, you know, um, even, even like, even, even when I'm coming, you know, coming up in this sport, there's people that I came up with, they, they're not here. I mean, they, they done. I mean, even when they was in their twenties, they done. It's like, you know, but, you know, but, but I'm still here, man. And, you know, I'm doing this to my, my kids, my wife. And, you know, then, you know, hopefully, you know, that, that'll, that'll be, uh, a, a, a game changer for us one day, man. I've, I've yeah, watched a lot, I've watched a lot of your fights back in the day, not to cut you off, but I've watched a lot of your fights back in the day. Um, I've seen a few of your fights on ESPN. I see yeah, you fight. Yes, I, I see you fight on Showtime, and I, and, yes, and and here you are now at 36 years old, and yes, it's, and the cherry bomb is still there. You know what I mean? So it's yeah, like yes, it's, it's like he's, he's still here, right? Like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, man. You know, you know. Just how I said, man. People, you know, people look at that age like yeah. man, he's done something. And you know, just like my last fight, I fought a young a young cat, 35 years. Old, I mean, 25. You know, this next one. This next guy, he was 25, and you know they looking at my age, and you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. Being honest, I'm I'm fighting just like a young kid because I keep my body healthy. I, I stay healthy. I don't smoke. I don't drink. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. I don't party. I'm a family man. You know what I'm saying. I'm home, and you know, and you know, I, I would say like the only like the only mistake thing I be I, I would say I would do is sometimes I don't I don't eat healthy. That's the only thing. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> you know that's 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 the only thing I um I can say you know what I'm saying but that's why I'm so you know I love I love the sport man mm-hmm. and, you know and uh, you know just you know March second man you know this is another opportunity for me and um they think they're gonna have it easy 
that I don't care what they, I don't care what they think about their record. They, if they, like, if they think they are puncher, whatever, mm-hmm. let's get it on because I'm a puncher too. Because, because if, if you, like, if you see my, you know, some of my fights, like, fighting at 130, these, like, these guys, they don't really want to stay there. It's like, seems like I got to go in and get them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, they don't want to brawl with me. They, they don't. They don't want to take that. They don't take that risk. You know what I'm saying? So he's yeah. like, I gotta go and chase him. You know what I'm saying? But you know, just to, you know, I'm not. I'm. I'm not having a big head. But it's like if they like whatever, they come with March second. I will be prepared. If they want to win, I'm gonna chase you. Yeah. If you want to bang, I will stay and fight. Let's. You know. That's yeah. it. I. I. I wanted. I want others to understand. Like. I don't. I want others to understand. Like basically, you are a guy. You are a fighter first and foremost. Yeah. And you have fought for world titles. Yeah. Yes, sir. You are. You. You were a. Pro, you were a prospect, a title contender, fought yes, for sir. world titles. You didn't win. Yes, you know, for whatever reason, you didn't win, and you're still yes, fighting sir. for another opportunity yes, to get to another level. To be, yes, you know, to, to fight for another world title. And like you just mentioned, you're chasing the champions. You're chasing that legacy that you rightfully yeah. want. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's what I want people to understand and get to know about who in the oh, yeah, definitely. cherry bomb yeah, definitely. cherry is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so, definitely, man. You know, you know, just like, again, before, you know, you know, you know, in this sport, when I, when I first started, I, I never had it easy, man. I started from from the ground, and I worked myself up. You know, so, you know, some of these guys had it easy. They had a uh, speak on they that. Had a promoter. Speak, speak more yeah. on that. Oh yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah, talk, talk, you had, get, you, talk, yeah. well, talk, man. Like, let's keep it a buck right here because we gonna put this out. So you know, talk. Let me keep it. Let's keep it a buck. They had these promoters backing them up. And you know, getting them easy fights, and whether you know, whether they feel comfortable and build their record up, and they'll, you know, where they'll get, you know, where they feel real comfortable in the ring. And any names? Any and names? Are you good? <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, no, no names. But you know, it's. I would say all like all like all the fighters who are these big time promoters and you know building them up, mm-hmm. and you know, with for me, and man, I started from from the ground, man. I had to work myself. Anyone, any, anybody that they put in front of me, I fought them all. Mm-hmm. Every fighter since my career, I don't, it, I don't care who it was, easy or hard or whatever. Hey, hey, they say, Eddie, you want to fight this person? Eddie, we, uh, we, we have somebody to fight. Okay, all right, okay. Even, even uh, what they say, Timothy Bradley. Okay, Paulie. Okay, everybody they put in front of me, I fought them. I. I never say, nah, I don't want to fight them. What is their record? Or how many fights they got? Who's their trainer? I never answer. I never ask. Ask no question. Okay. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I never, you know what I'm saying? Even, like, even, um, even with the loss after, um, uh, Prasada, everyone they put in front of me, they young, whatever. Because these, like, these guys, one wanted, you know what I'm saying, wanted to make a name for themselves. They wanted to, to, to be the next one to fight for a title. They want, one thing they beat me, they like, you know what I'm saying, like they, in the, you know, they next in line for, yeah. like for a big fight. They got to pass you and they can go fight you. Yeah. Right yeah. So this is my last fight in life and in the, in the fight for that. It's like, man, if we pass that, man, we good, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, you, you. You better come with something, man. Mm. But you know, I work hard, man. You know, uh, I, you know, I, I always, always want to stay prepared, man. And you know, this is my sport. I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying, yeah, what I said, man. And when I wake up, I see my kids, man. And you know, especially my daughter, who's disabled. She's 17 years old. She, you know, mm-hmm. you know, uh, she's, you know, she can't walk. She can't talk. We do everything for her, man. Mm-hmm. And you know. Then, you know, we got to see my wife, you know what I'm saying, just say, you know what I'm saying, especially, I want, I want my wife to be home with her, you know, I don't want her to be out work, working and this and that, and because, because we have a daughter that needs 24-7, you know, to be watched over, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. to be looked at, and, you know, that's, 
that's what we have. So like right now, she's home right now, and you know, the one with our, you know, with our daughter, and um, and you know, I'm blessed, man. You know, that's all. That's all. That's all I can say. I I, I am blessed. You know, you know, God will bless me this year, 2019. I'm looking for the blessing this this year, and um, I, I'm very excited, man. Yeah, when I reached out to you the other day, you was like, you told me, you know, you was like, hey, I'm getting ready to go to church. And that's that's not something that um that I that that I usually hear <laughs> from a fighter, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, because yeah, 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 yeah. uh, I speak with a lot of fighters, and when I, when I speak to a lot of fighters, I mean, everybody believes in their higher power; they believe in God. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. My, but certain fighters, when I you know, hey, can we you know set up something? Can we chop it up? And, and, yeah. and you hit me with the hey, I'm getting ready to go to church. Let's do it another sure, time. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. and I was like, wow, that it, it, yeah. it, it, it kind of like took me, it took me to another place. Like, I, I, I see where this, this, this man, this fighter, this yeah, person yeah, yeah. is at right now in his life, yeah, not yeah. outside of boxing, inside of boxing, outside of boxing. Yeah. I see where this person, this man is at right now and what he needs to do for his family and his livelihood, yeah. you know, and I respect that yeah, 100%, yeah. man. Yeah. And, uh, and, 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 lucky. Lucky thing you uh, 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 catch me today, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I stayed home, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I stayed home uh, today because my wife, she's not feeling too well. Okay. And, you know, she's not feeling too well, you know. Uh, then, you know, with my daughter, yeah. like my other, so my other kids went to church today. And I said, well, since my, my, my other three boys is out, going, you know, they have church, then my then my daughter is here. Mm -hmm. Then I, well, I'm gonna stay home where my where my wife could be in the room to lay down and rest. Yeah. And you know, you know, she, she's not feeling too well, man. But because mm -hmm. really, you know, like uh, I was about a year ago, you know what I'm saying she had a car accident. Okay. You know, so so um, so like she had a, had a neck, like, like a neck surgery, and we had to go in and take her seat from whatever they had to take out of shoulder surgery. And you know, you know, well, she have a day, man. Uh, you know, her neck is hurting and this and that. And you know, I said, well, you know what? I'll, I'll stay home, man. And you know, just uh, just to make sure everything is all right around the house. Let me ask you this: How, how are yeah. you? How are you able? I mean, this is this might be a stupid question, but how are you able to? maintain your focus dealing with everything that goes on around you like you just mentioned your daughter and your wife's situation how are you able to man, maintain the focus man you know what it's I, I don't think it's easy man you know sometimes it's frustration you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying stuff first frustrated but you know uh, that's what that's what fan is about man you know especially with my wife and I you know what I'm saying we try to work together you know what I'm saying we try to you know Tag team, you know what I'm saying? Where, you know, even when she's not feeling good or, you know, even when I'm going, you know, getting ready for a fight, especially, especially when I'm getting ready for a fight, man, she behind me 100%, man. You know, just like for this, just like for this fight, just for the, like, being honest, no lie, for this fight right here, this look like she's getting ready for the fight. She's, that's how excited she is. <laughs> I was like, man, I was, she's more excited that, that I am. I was like, babe, look like you. It seems like you fighting. I mean, she seems like she's getting ready for the fight. <laughs> I mean, she's getting ready, this and that. And then, I, then while I'm going to my old, my you know, to my uh, to my motion, and like, man, I'm getting ready for this fight. But she's excited, man. She she's very excited, and you know that's what the, that's what kind of wife I want. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, just like what I said, like, it's not, it's not easy, man. Yeah. You know, you know, with, with our, with, with our kids and especially, especially our daughter, she's a handful by, by herself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's hard, man, you know, especially getting ready for a fight. Yeah. I, I, I can, I don't want to say I can, but I, I empathize and I understand, you know, I respect you to the fullest. You know, I appreciate you even taking the time out right now to talk to me. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, any aspirations in becoming a pastor? Oh, no, no, no. You know what? A lot, a lot of, you know, I heard, like, a lot of testimony, a lot of, a lot of stories, and, and you know, 
people people say they would never come to become a pastor, this and that, and you know, God spoke to them and like they like, No, I'm not <laughs> and they and they and they end up becoming a pastor because you know, you know what I'm saying? And it's and it's like they like they run away from it or like they try to hide from it and like, nah, I'm not nah I wanna stay in this I wanna stay in this position, no, I don't wanna be because being a pastor and Man, it take a whole lot of work. It's a lot of work, and people, people like people don't understand. And you know, you know that's why I never look down on a pastor because because you know what? Like uh, I'm a uh, like I will uh, I will tell you an example. If if a uh, like if a pastor fall may make a m- make a mistake, I would I would never look at that pastor different. Okay. Because that pastor is going through a whole lot. He had to deal with congregation, family, and, you know, with the enemy. And you know, I never look at that pastor wrong. I, I, I would love him the same, and you know, then you know, but I would never look at him wrong. I'll never talk. What you know, what I'm saying because they go through a whole lot. They deal with a whole lot, man. And that's what point. That's what people don't understand. Because one thing, a pastor fall. Oh man, oh. They start talking about them. They people start leaving the church. Mm-hmm. People start doing this. It affects the whole community. But yeah, and they don't. They you know, you know, you know what I realize? They don't look at their self first. Mm. It's like man, what what I have? Did, like did I did any anything wrong in this world? Did I sin or? But they don't. They don't look at that. But they quit the point things. They quit the talk. But that's that's the one thing I don't do and like just like my wife always said man why you always you always you always find uh, uh like like the good in like like the good in, in, a, in a person and I said hey it's because none of us ain't perfect you know what I'm saying I always try to try to find something good like nah probably not but you know I was trying to find a way nah you know what baby probably probably they going through something man this and that but you know that's part of life, man. And you know, you have people who, if you read, like, if you make mistakes, man, they will, they will talk about you, this and that. And you know, and that's about it, man. Now you, you, like we mentioned, um, you spar with Keith Thurman, you work with Keith Thurman. How was that training? Oh, uh, pretty good. Like, uh, I, I had, I had spar with him, uh, when you were getting ready for the, for the Porter fight. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, when he was getting ready for the Porter fight, you know what I'm saying? You know, how did was, that how did that play out? When you got a phone call, he called you. Like, how did that play out? No, 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 no we were we in the same gym. Yeah, we, that's what happened. That's what. Yeah, 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 yeah. We we work out together. We we in the same gym, and you know, uh, they they just used me for the you know the you know the, for the, because the Porter was a, like a guy that come with pressure. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they, so they used me for the, yeah. So they uh, used me for the pressure, you know, keep on coming, you know, working. You know what I'm saying? And you know, well, you know, that's one, that's one great guy, a true, a true champion, just like what you seen like uh, the other night. Uh, you know, tough out, ass of, fight. out of the ring, in ring, yeah, mm, tough ass fight. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, yes, yes. You know, you know, being off for twenty two months, he pulled man, it out. He, he was, pulled it out. Yes, yes, and and it was a great fight, man. See, you know, so you know, some round like the Ring Rush show, yeah. and you know, the power it seemed like the power wasn't there, and but he pulled it out, man. Couple and, more fights, you know, we'll see it. I believe it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Couple more fights, man. He'll be, yeah, yeah, yes. Now, yes, now, now, with you sparring him and um, working in the same camp and everything, how 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 does he help you? How does he better you? Man, he helped me a whole lot, man. And you know, um, even like he even like he showed me things, and um, um, you know, uh, t- you know, even like he talked to me, and you know, even like in the, even like in sparring, man, you know, because you know he's a big guy, yeah. and you know, he worked with me, this and that. And um, you know, being honest, not you won't you won't find every fighter do that. Sometimes he will come to the gym to work out, but he won't even work out. But he will take his time to work with other people. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying he will take time and to, you know what I'm saying 
you know, talk and show you and this and that and that. Then other kids are there. And then, then like, in your mind, like, he's coming to work. He's not even working out. But that's what kind of champ, true champion he is. And, you know, because he want to give back, you know what I'm saying? Because he know what it takes to, you know, to, you know, to become a champion, to become a winner. And you have other fighters that won't do that, that will come to the gym and do their workout. It's like, and don't, and won't even give a minute to the other fighters, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, just to take that time, you know, to, you know, show them something, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you know, uh, you know, um, how I, I drive an hour, 15 minutes just to the gym one way, you know what I'm saying? And you know, so, and back, uh, and back. Yeah, and back. Yeah, because then I would take a minute one way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's why I take dedicated. So that's why I'm dedicated to it. That's why when I go to him, I work hard. And and you know, that's why. That's why every fight, man, I I want to come prepared because I don't just take that one hour and fifteen minute drive for nothing, man. It, it's like you know, I said my my the family pushed me, man. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. when I look at my kids, my family, man. It's like, you know what, man, I, I got to go do this, man. I got to go ahead and, you know, go ahead and take care of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, but, you know, you know, so, you know, go ahead. Outside of boxing, you are, a, you know, you're from Bahamas. That's yeah, yeah, so. You know, raised. Yeah. How did, how did, how did everything work out for, well, you, born, you, you were born in Bahamas, correct? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. And you, and yeah. then you, you know, you moved over to um, Florida. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. How did everything work? How did every, how did all that work out? Were you boxing in, in Bahamas, and then you just moved, mm -hmm. or you know, mm -hmm. no, 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 not at all. You know what I'm saying? I never. Well, you wasn't beating up nobody in Bahamas and saying, "Hey, you got to go." Nah, <laughs> nah, no, sir. I, I, I never, I never ever had put on a pair of gloves on at mm -hmm. all. You know what I'm saying? I had moved here when I was 11 years old. Okay. Um, to the, to the U.S. And, um, to the U.S. And, you know, they, I, then I think at the age of 14, you know, that's, that's when I put a first pair of gloves on when I went over to the gym. Uh, here, here in Wachula, uh, a guy, a guy named Troy Carter, um, start me at the age of 14. Then I, then I, then I fought my amateur for five years. Then I turned pro. I turned pro at the age of eighteen. Then we had like a couple fights. Then we had a we, we had a fallout. But you know what? What the good thing about it? Till now, and it was I was at age of twenty one or age twenty. We that, that's when we split. You know what I'm saying? Just remember, I turned eight. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I turned pro at eighteen. Then yeah. I say age of twenty one. Then we then we had a fallout. And um and so then then to tell this day. We talk. Matter of fact, matter of fact, um, I talked to him yesterday. You know what I'm okay. Yeah, so we, so we, we still, we still, we still stayed all um, connected. You know what I'm saying? We still, we still stay connected, and yeah, that, that's how I started, man. I came here, and at age of fourteen, I put, you know, he, you know, I put on, I, I put on a pair of glove on, and you know, did I was I never had put a pair, put, put a pair of glove on at all till I got here to the U.S. Well, at the age of 14, you know, came at 11, you know, then three years later, yeah, you know, I started, I started boxing and I kept it since till now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what was the reason? Um, you know what, man, you know, just like, just, just like with every, uh, like everybody that plays sports, that in the sport, like you know, hey man, I'm I'm doing this for my family, and you know I want a better for, for my life, and because you know you don't know the reason why when we came here, we uh, my my parents was a farm worker, we were working on the road, mm -hmm. and when I was when I was in when I was in the sixth grade. I start going to the, then they will take me to Orange Grove. Then, then after, then when Orange season is over with, then we will go up north. To, uh, like we go up to, uh, to North Carolina to work in sweet potato. Mm -hmm. So I was doing that since sixth grade till my senior year. Then after, man, when I, when I graduated, man, I'm going to get me a job and they won't see me in that field anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 
And you know, at that same time, yeah. you know, I was, you know, at that same time, I was boxing. Then, you know, you know, through all that, I said, man, I don't want, I don't want to go out there, man. So, like, you know, and it, and it like motivate me, man. Like, man, I want, I want to do something in my life. I want to, yeah. I want to become a world champion. You know, we, we all speak that, man, and that, that one day it come to pass, and you know, and. But, you know, I'm still here, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm like, seems like I'm one of the few fighters, one of, one of the fighters that, 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 that been there, but, but didn't have that opportunity to make all that money with all, with like what other fighters made to become a world champion. It's like, man, I've been, I've been among these fighters and I've been there and, and it's like, man, it's like, oh, you know? They had the chance to make all that money. They they had a chance to become a world champion, and it's like, and so I look at myself. I was like, man, what what happened? You know what I'm saying? It's like, shoot, either 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 um, they had a better promoter, a better manager, and you know, you know what I said? I man, I start off from scratch, man. I didn't have the best promoter. I didn't have the manager, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I had to work myself up, and you know. To get to this place, yeah. And now you're getting ready to fight a guy who's 20 and two, yeah, with 18 KOs, Mr. Yep. Mr. Rich Ricardo Nunez fighting down in Panama, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, excuse me. And y- 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 y'all are fighting at at 1:30. Yeah, yes, on, sir. On the undercard of Erislandi's fight, Erislandi Lara, yes. excuse me. Um, yeah. And so basically, and, and as well as Luis Ortiz, he's fighting on the card as well. And you know, Luis Ortiz from Cuba. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, sir. Know, the, 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 the big guy, King Kong. Yeah, <laughs> the King Kong, yeah. And, um, yeah, the King Kong. This is a great opportunity for you. It's going to be, yeah, show, yes, it's going to be showcased on Showtime Boxing. It's taking yes, place sir. at the Barclays Center again yes. on March 2nd. Um, not sure which fight is going to be shown first or second. But um, you, I'll be, I will, I will, I'll be the first fight. It, it appears that your fight is going to be shown on TV as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we will we'll be the first TV fight. Nice, and that's yeah. nice. Yeah, yes, sir. That gives you that gives you another opportunity to make a statement within your division. Yeah, yes, sir. Oh, definitely. You ready? Oh yeah! Oh, you know it, man. You know it, man. Yeah, you know, it, man. You know, you know. I always put in the hard work, and you know, did I want to say don't? I was just messing with you. I was just messing with you real quick to say, "Are you ready?" I already know you're ready, but I was just messing with you real quick. You know? Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, uh, you know. Now, when the fight was presented to you. What was your first thoughts? Like, okay, cool, this is I this is a good look for me or okay, great, I think this fight or this is this is what I need to do right now for my career. You know what? When that when that fight when they had present me that fight, I didn't hesitate. I told I, I told my friend, Yeah, I we will take it. Mm-hmm. Because um they was like bringing me some other like before that before they brought me that fight they was bringing some other some other crazy fights on with with some crazy weight one thirty some one thirty seven this and that I was like nah man I, I said nah I said I'm not I'm not all uh, taking that fight man come on man but when they present me that fight at one one thirty I I I did not hesitate I. I didn't say, well, let me, well, let me, let me, let me, let me check his background. Let me see who he is. I, I said, yes. Sir. I said, yes. I said, we will take it mm-hmm. because comfortable weight. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I don't, I'm saying the record, record doesn't mean nothing to me. You have a hundred fights, this and that. It, 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 it ain't like you fought a, a hundred tough fighters. Mm-hmm. I mean, if it was, if you, if you, that means if you fought all them tough, all your fights were tough, tough, tough fights. That means, man, you, man, you be down. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so the record doesn't mean nothing to me, man. Record doesn't mean nothing to me. And you know, just, just make it the right way. And payday. You know what I'm saying? Make sure the payday is right. The, the uh, weight is right. We'll fight, man. But just don't bring no crazy, 
crazy weight and crazy money and you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, you know, yeah, I like that. Some extra. Like, oh, you know, yeah. Because we all know boxing politics, so yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Yes, sir. Um, do you have any eyes or do you have any thoughts or do you have your, your mind set on fighting any fighters between 130 and 135? And you know what? Because I know you want a world title. So basically, who you want? Who do you want to fight after this guy? Basically, you know, you, you know, the, just like, just like uh, we're uh, eliminated for the WBA title, title, which is uh, Javante Davis. He, mm-hmm. He's the champ. We we beat this guy. That's not an opportunity for me. He will take that fight. Mm-hmm. And you know, you know, uh, 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 just like. Just like I, I, you know what I'm saying? I never bring up names. I never go on, uh, yeah. on media and start yapping my mind. Oh, I want it. Hey, so, you know what I'm saying? Whatever my promoter them think, manager them think, hey, if they say, Edna, we, you, uh, we, we had this guy at one, at 130. Okay, all right. But give me the all right. You make sure I have another time to get ready. This mm-hmm. and that. Give him another camp time. We'll fight. And you know what I'm saying? Did I want to say I never touch anybody in my in my uh, uh career. Mm-hmm. Let's fight. Let's bring it on. Let's you know what I'm saying? We it will, like it'll be a good fight, you know what I'm saying? Now who, who's your manager and promoter? Um uh, I'm a uh, uh manager by Al Hink. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Al Hink. <laughs> yes, <man>. My guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't care what anybody say about Al Haven. That's my guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. He's a great dude, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? He's bringing boxing back and and all that you know, all that kind of good stuff, man. You know? Now, Cherry Bomb taking place. Yes, sir. The Cherry Bomb will land, I should say, on, on, on March 2nd, Saturday, at the Barclays Center on the undercard of Erislandi's Erislandi Lawrence return fight because he hasn't fought since he um, lost to uh, Jared Heard. Okay. You know. However, this and also Lewis Ortiz is fighting on the card as well. But however, mm-hmm. this fight is not about this fight card is not about Erislandi Lara of Lewis mm-hmm. Ortiz. Nope. This fight card mm-hmm. is about Mr. Edna mm-hmm. Cherry, the Cherry Yes, ball. sir. Yes, sir. Ready to lock in. Lock in. You're already locked in. You know, you're ready to get it in. It is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, you know. yes, sir. Ready to make a statement at 130? Ready to get yeah. it in. Hope, you know, with a successful win, looking to get a title shot, looking to take your career to another level, you know. Yes, sir. You're a dangerous fighter. You already know that. That's a fact. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ain't, ain't, no, mean, ain't no sugar coat, ain't no jumping out yeah. there, ain't no, you know, if things about it. You're a dangerous fighter when your name pop yeah. up. It's like, oh, I might fight him, oh, no, I'm not going to fight him. Like, because they already know what it is when they fight you. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've been, I've been avoided a lot of, like, a lot of time because there's guys that, they have perfect record and they don't want to take that risk. Mm-hmm. Well, they, either they don't want to take that risk or there's no money in it and, uh, they don't want to risk their record. And because going in there with me, it's, it's not a just like an easy fight. All oh, we oh, like have an easy fight. They know when they go in there, they don't know what to expect. Oh man, this we in a tough fight. You know mm-hmm. right? So, so that's why I, a lot of lot, like a lot of guys won't take that risk. You know what I'm saying at the rate at at, at the right weight class, one thirty, a lot of people won't take that risk because anything anything can happen. It'll be a tough fight. It, it won't be an easy one. And you know, but I've been, I mean, through my uh, through my career, yeah, I've been, I've been aboard a lot of times and sit down and don't <laughs> not have I mean, you could look if you if you look at last. Let me see. Last year I had one fight. The year before that, one fight. Like, come on, man. This, go and tell me. This, I mean, there's like there's a bunch of hundred and thirty pounders out there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Come on, what? I'll find once a year. Come on. Why is that? And it's, why is that? I don't even know. Being honest, I don't know. After that, after that, for the start of fight, I don't know. I was like, okay. Man, I, mean, like, for the I mean, at the end of the day, you, you are managed by Al Heyman. 
you know, as yeah. artists and managed by, you know, premier boxing champions and things of that nature. Yeah. So, so my question to you is why is, or, I mean, you are a fighter. I understand it. I understand the business yeah. of boxing. You are a fighter. If a fight gets presented to you, you're willing to take it. And if a fight doesn't get presented to you, you know, you're still willing to take it. <laughs> you know? So my question to you is, the business of boxing, why Why is it that people are nervous on taking on a, 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 a feminine opponent such as yourself? Because you carry power, you carry great skill, speed, and everything else that comes with it as a fighter. Yeah. So, so why... Yeah. My question to you is, why do you why do you think people scared of you? <laughs> you know, they sorry, sorry. They don't want to. They don't want to take that risk to get their, you know, make their record look ugly. You know, mm -hmm. because of like there's something they might lost in life. I mean, in their like in their career, either either they be set back or their their promoter or whatever. Like, will forget about them all. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you know, and either you know. Why, why did, why they don't bring it back as like last, you know, back in the days when Ali them, they, they fought everybody, man. They, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They was inducting nobody, but now these, now this generation, um, how many fights you got? Nah, I'm not fighting you. <laughs> I'm not fighting you. I'm Who's your coach? I've been oh, hearing that a I'm lot. I've been hearing yeah. that a lot. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, like if they, like if they trained by this person, oh man, nah, I'm not fighting them. Come on, man. It's, but you know, let's 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 bring it back when he Dan the Holyfield and, and Sugar Ray Lynn and Marley and all these guys. They was fighting every everybody. They wasn't talking about these days. Um, all, 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 we I want to see what my promoter think, and we will sit down and talk and this and that, and and you know I want to see how many fights he got, and you know, I want to know who he trained by. Then we will sit there, we will take the fight. Come on, man. <laughs> Seems like that's how it is, man. But hey, this is boxing, man. You no, know? I mean, I, I want to ask you this one more thing. Let yes, them know where you fighting from, and, and who in the cherry is as a fighter in your record. Say okay. that again. I want, I want, I want the world to know. I want you to let the world know who is in the cherry. Where you fighting from? Your record and March second. Let's go. My name is Edna Cherry. From Florida, I'm the Cherry Bomb. We're part of Florida. We're part of Florida. Um, <laughs> Wachula. I'm from Wachula, Florida. I'm I'm the Cherry Bomb, and you know, I'm just getting ready for March second. And whoever y'all y'all just tune in, and you know, don't miss the Cherry Bomb, man. You know, you know, just it'll be a great, exciting fight that you don't want to miss. March second. At the Barclays Center in New York. Let's go. And the Cherry, he's fighting on March second at the Barclays Center, like he just mentioned. Um, he ready to let it go, man. The Cherry Bomb is back at it. He's been doing this thing for a minute. He's been, he's, he's fought the best, and he's looking to he's, he's looking to get another win on his record in hopes of getting a shot at the world title at the 130 pound division. We salute, we appreciate Ed and Cherry, we applaud him, and we wish him luck on his next fight. Appreciate your time, all right? I mean, thank you very much for your time, for the opportunity tonight, and, Absolutely. you know, for, the, for the, taking the time, you know, you know, to interview me, and, you know, it's a, it's a blessing, man. Yes, sir. And I'm going to speak to you before the fight, too, as well, all right? Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, we're going to do a follow-up. We're going to do it all. Yeah, this is this is the number. You know, hit me up. You know, what I'm saying if if I don't pick up, probably probably my wife will pick pick up whatever. <laughs> just like, just leave a message. I got you covered. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying when when you get when you when you get near Edna, tell her to give me a call or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then I'll get back with you. I got you covered. Appreciate you. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. Peace. Okay. All right. You have a good night. You too. Okay. Bye. Bye.